everyone, uh, Rebecca here. I'm just going to quickly talk to you about the Children's Book Council of Australia uh, awards for the early childhood, the shortlisted books in that category. So in this category, the books are written, or the entries in this category may be fiction, drama or poetry and should be appropriate in style and content for children who are pre-reading stages of reading, ages 0 to 6. Uh, so they're essentially picture books, but the interesting thing about uh, this particular award is they have picture books. Uh, picture book category which is actually for 0 to 18 so sometimes you have books in there that are not appropriate for those younger audiences so let's get started so we're stuck by Sue uh, Di Gennaro this is a, a really sweet lovely book it's about a young turtle uh, oops turtle uh, who is um, it's his birthday he's sent off to do a chore uh, and everyone is so busy that they don't really notice him and then when they get into uh, the elevator the lift uh, it stops and he's really sad because he has all these jobs so he can celebrate his birthday and he lets people know and it's what happens in that elevator after that now there are a few books around at the moment that deal with um, life moving at a faster pace and people not paying attention to them and this is one of them um, and it's about just slowing down and paying attention to everyone and, and being a good neighbour. Um, the next one is this one, One Runaway Rabbit uh, by David Metzenthan and Mayred Murphy. Now I'm sorry if I got the name wrong. Um, this is a lovely book. It is essentially uh, I would like to say it's a wordless picture book, but it actually isn't because it does have words in it. Um, but it is about a rabbit who um, leaves, he runs away. He runs away and it's what happens when he runs away, he begins to be followed by a fox. Um, so there's a lot of talking points in here. You could talk to children a lot about what's happening inside, what are people up to, and here comes the fox. So it's about the rabbit trying to get away from the fox and eventually finding its way home. Uh, the next one is this one, Bat vs. Poss. It is um, written in rhyme and it's about a group of a group of animals that live in a tree and a fruit bat that comes along and decides that he's going to take over the tree and it's about finding a voice, the possum finding a voice and finding a way that um, the bat and the possums or all the people that in the tree can live together. Uh, okay, it's about sharing, uh, it's about giving people second chances, saying sorry um, and being able to get along. So that's a really lovely book. Alright, the next one here is When Billy Was a Dog. And this is this is so cute. I know uh, there are so many children out that do this that they just want to, you know, they love dogs so much that they pretend to be a dog. So Billy really, really, really wants a dog and his parents keep saying no to him. So he decides one day that he's actually going to be a dog for the day. Um, and so he does and he spends the whole day as a dog. And, you know, mum takes him to the cafe with the neighbour and her dog. And... Um, he you know sits with the dog and laps food out of the bowl and does all kinds of things um but then there's uh, his little friend the dog from next door has a problem and um billy realizes that he can't be a dog anymore so that that's a really sweet one uh my friend fred this was fantastic I really love this one because there was just this complete surprise the way that it's written it's someone's talking about uh, their dog okay and there's this uh, not their dog their best friend and their best friend just happens to be this dog and there are all these hints in the book that you don't realize um, that tell you who is speaking but you don't know until the second last page and this person turns up I'm not going to spoil it. You have to read it. This is one of those books you just have to pick up and read. It's fantastic. And the last one, Goodbye House, Hello House. This is also a really lovely book um, about changing and uh, the change and about moving home. So it's all about a child who's saying goodbye to their country home. The end papers are beautiful. Actually, the end papers in a lot of these are actually fantastic. Um, my friend Fred, is, it, it, it's it tells you all about the book so you've got leaving the country and so there's a lot of talking points that you could have in this book about what can you tell from the illustrations um, and so the child 
is saying goodbye to all these places. So this is the last time I'll fish in this river. This is the last time I'll run through these trees. Uh, this is a really lovely book just to talk about change and how you can be positive around change. So have a look at that one as well. So thanks for listening everyone. Have a great day.